step index fibers can be of two types. These two types are the multi-mode step index fibers and the single mode step index fibers. Okay, so these are the categorization of step index fibers. These have core diameter greater than 50 micrometers while these have the core diameter nearly equals to 2 micrometers to 10 micrometers okay so keep this in mind and uh, what we mean by the multi mode and uh, single mode if uh, we have uh, multiple modes various rays of light various modes of light are traveling uh, simultaneously uh, through the optical fiber then it is called multi-mode step index fibers these both are although step index fibers and if it has a very small uh, very uh, small diameter then only one mode of light propagation is possible through it so it is called as single mode step index fibers so let me show you with diagram the difference between uh, this uh, these two types of step index fibers multi mode and uh, single mode this is the cladding and here i am now drawing the core which is present inside this cladding here i am drawing this uh, this is the multi mode step index fiber let's write it so we know that uh, total internal reflection takes place and the ray move with uh, the TIR in the core. Okay, so if it is multi mode, then it would have uh, different uh, uh, various uh, propagation modes that are traveling through it. So let's draw a few of these. This is one mode. that is traveling through it and let's draw one more mode it is traveling in this direction so we have two modes of uh, light now let's draw this uh, the graph how it uh, how the refractive index varies so here we have the radius radial distance from the axis here is the axis of the core this dotted line okay so let's now draw it we are drawing a graph between this refractive index as a function of distance real distance from the axis of the core so it is somewhat like this which is something like this here it is n2 this part and this is also n2 okay this is n2 and where it is this is n1 this n1 is the refractive index of the core okay this is the refractive index of the core while this N2 is what? N2 is the refractive index of the cladding. So we know that here as we at the core area in the core uh, in the core area from here to here we have a refractive index N1. This is N1 actually. Let me write it clearly again. So in this area from here to here it is N1 and outside this core this is the cladding area and this is also cladding this part is cladding you know so in this these two areas the refractive index is n2 this is n2 which is lower than the n1 so n1 is greater okay i think it's clear so it is a multi mode step index fiber and it has a uh, various modes it is called multi mode it can have a large number of modes present in this so now let's draw the single mode step index fiber the single mode step index fiber allows uh, only one mode only one 
ray of light, a single ray of light to propagate through it. So, because it's a diameter, the diameter of the core is very small. It cannot allow more than one moles of light. So the, this is the light propagating through it. Let's draw, draw this uh, single ray of light. So here is the cladding we know. These are cladding and here is the core. This is single mode step index fiber. Single mode, okay. The single mode step index fiber it is. Now we will draw the graph. This is R. This is the refractive index as a function of R. So in this case too, let's uh, extend these lines to make the graph clear. Here also in this region we have. Uh, the refractive index n1 constant value of n1 so if from here to here we have a constant refractive index n1 and in this area uh, we have a lower refractive index of n2 okay so here again it is n2 and here it is n one but in this case this duration is very small is this thickness is very small okay so this is a single mode step index fiber and uh, let's write this uh, thickness is greater than 50 micrometer this is greater than 50 micrometers greater than or equals to while in this case it's almost 2 to 10 micrometers 2 to 10 micrometers so now we will see the multimode step index fibers versus single mode step index fibers the propagation of multiple modes takes place in multimode modes while in this case as the name suggests only single mode is present it has larger diameter of the core this uh, core diameter is greater than what it calls to 50 micrometers while in this case the diameter is much smaller it has a smaller diameter nearly 2 to 10 micrometers okay so now in uh, in multi mode step index fibers the dispersion is high due to differing group velocities of the multiple modes while in this case the dispersion is uh, present due to only single mode of uh, light this is because of broadening of the light pulse dispersion is low okay as it has uh, only single pulse in this case we have uh, various uh, modes of light traveling through it in multi mode so they have they travel through the fiber since the path uh, lengths are different some may travel close to some light rays may travel uh, passing through the close to the axis of the core some may be traveling away from the core axis so they have different path lengths so different group velocities are present and it causes dispersion okay i will discuss the fourth point the bandwidth is lower because of this the bandwidth of uh, multi-mode step index fibers is lower while it is higher as compared to multi-mode bandwidth is higher in this case so we have discussed four points now the fifth point 
in uh, multi mode step index fibers the especially coherent optical sources like uh, leds they can be coupled easily and efficiently due to its uh, large diameters especially incoherent sorry especially incoherent optical sources easily and well in case of uh, single mode it is not easy and efficient uh, due to not easy due to much smaller diameter the sixth point in multi mode the larger numerical aperture is present is uh, its uh, numerical aperture is large so it's easy to couple with optical sources we have discussed what is numerical aperture in my previous videos due to large you can watch it due to large numerical aperture it has large numerical aperture so because of this easy coupling is possible easy coupling is possible with optical sources well in this case due to a smaller numerical aperture so this uh, coupling is difficult the seventh point lower tolerance requirements on optical fiber connectors it has lower tolerance requirements okay well in this case the tolerance requirements are higher these tolerance requirements are higher in case of single mode step index fibers okay so this was all about uh, step index fibers and its two types multi mode and single mode step index fibers now let's see various advantages that uh, the single mode fibers offer so here we will see lots of advantages uh, one by one first advantage is the single mode fibers provide uh, greatest transmission bandwidth the bandwidth provided by single mode fibers is uh, greatest that is in comparison to other types of fibers like uh, multi mode fibers and uh, other graded index fibers its bandwidth is highest okay and the losses in case of single mode fibers are minimum as we know that it supports only one mode therefore because of uh, because of this uh, many losses are not present in case of single mode fibers so therefore it causes minimum losses in transmission third advantage of uh, single mode fiber is the quality of transmission is superior since the modal noise is absent in single mode fibers as we know by the name itself that single mode fibers means a fiber optical fiber that supports only single mode okay therefore uh, because of the absence of other modes uh, like in case of multi mode uh, fibers we know that multi mode fibers uh, can support lots of modes and they interfere with each other since uh, in this uh, the diameter of the single mode fiber can only support a single mode therefore the modal noise the noise present due to many modes is absent in single mode fibers therefore the quality of transmission is superior the fourth advantage is the single mode fibers have long life nearly 20 plus years the quality of single mode fibers allows it to use the fiber even up to 20 plus years you can use it without any problem for more than 20 years this is a big advantage now let's see the fifth advantage the single mode fibers are compatible with the latest and developing integrated optics technology this is another uh, latest advantage or you can say this is another big advantage of uh, single mode fibers that they are very compatible with the advanced that the technology that is coming in future and is still in development phase that is the integrated optics technology okay and the sixth and the last advantage of single mode fibers is the single mode fibers are easy to upgrade to the future technologies as we have already seen that this in this case also that they are um, compatible with developing integrated optics technology and other technologies in the same way these fibers are easy to upgrade to another future technologies that are coming in future so these have high upgrade capability okay they are suitable and 
compatible for future wideband services like faster optical transmitters and receivers we can use it in future that uh, with services that, that will provide in future wideband services where we can transmit data at high speeds high bandwidths okay so these services are compatible with this they are suitable and compatible with these future developing services so these are the wideband the, these are the wideband fast optical transmitters and receivers and also the advanced transmission techniques so you can understand here that there are many benefits of using single mode fibers okay in comparison to another kinds of fibers so hope you liked the video if you liked it please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such uploads thanks for watching have a nice day friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye